Well, I've taken my camera to motor racing circuits all over the world and I've never, ever managed to get that perfect photograph. But one man that does know a good photograph when he sees it is Peter Hyam. He's the director of LAT Photographic. Hi, Peter. Hi. Now, what exactly is going on here? Well, we're the largest uh, photographic archive and news agency specialising in motor racing um, worldwide. Uh, we've got an archive of about 9 million images um, spanning the, the, the history of the sport since 1895 when it all started to this weekend's Grand Prix. So you go way back to uh, pre-war? Uh, it's pre-war. The, the earliest picture in the archive is 1895, um, all on glass plate negatives. So if you drop one, it's gone forever. Wow. Um, and we're currently cataloguing that material. It's from a new collection. Um, we bought him from one of, uh, one of the leading magazines at the time, Autocar. We're currently cataloguing that material, making it available to the public. And that's allied to the work we do at the moment, which is covering every Grand Prix, every NASCAR race, car race, and so on. So how many photographs are in the collection? It's estimated at about 9 million different images. Uh, we've never counted them. It's just the claims as we bought different archives adding up. So can I buy one as a member of the public? You can. Um, we're, uh, we're launching a, a retail range through Alex Reed Motorsport, um, but also by contacting uh, us directly. We can do a search on an obscure car or buy one of the classics. So can I specify which print? It varies. It's people who've seen a picture in a magazine and they're in the back of it and they want the picture through to somebody restoring a classic car and they want to research the entire history of that car in its original form. Uh, and then we go through the books and through the negatives and try and find images of that car racing. Would, would you say then that there's a, a popular era of motor racing? We found the 50s and 60s in terms of archive material. Obviously current material is very popular, but the 50s and 60s are always... Um, are always absolutely key to people. Yeah. Um, it's an era of, of great heroes and, um, and, and great sport, so that, that uh, is one of the most popular eras. Yeah, it's certainly the, the era that I would know best, and mm. I, I recognise some of these classic prints. Yeah. Uh, for instance, uh, the United States Grand Prix 1963 Graham Hill. Can, can you tell me a bit more about the history of this? Well, this, this uh, Graham Hill it just sums up his, his character, I think, and the joy of winning, um, taken by the then chief photographer, uh, Michael T. Um, who was working on motorsport at the time. Um, and uh, it, it's, as, as you see, as podiums were in those days. I mean, yeah. Very different from the, the quick spray of champagne that you get now. Yeah, it certainly captures the, the whole moment, really, doesn't yeah. it? Can we just have a quick look at this one here? Uh, again, you know, a classic for me. Great era, Jim Clark, etc. Yeah. Well, this is a, um, has a particular story to it as well. Uh, this is taken immediately after the end of the 1964 Belgian Grand Prix where both Jim Clark and Dan Gurney had run out of fuel on the last lap. Going into the last lap, uh, Clark was running second, and he ran out of fuel not knowing that the then leader had also run out of fuel. And this is when Dan Gurney is telling him that he actually had won the race. And in the archives, this is the most popular image and, and one of our best sellers, but in the archive there's a whole sequence of the whole conversation, and it ends with with uh, Jim Clark laughing and then being driven away on, on another car going back to the um, <laughs> thing. So Terrific. it tells the whole story. So, right, so really you're owning a, a piece of motor racing history, Absolutely. really, when you, when you put it on your wall. Let's just pop down here a moment. I recognise this print yeah. anyway as a, a classic Fangio style of driving. Well, it is. I mean, he, as you can see, is absolutely on the limit. He's also been a little bit over the limit as well, where dented oh, on the front yeah, of the well, car. There's a dent there, yeah. um, but it, it just shows the, the, the style and grace of driving a car in that era, and especially by the master himself. Um, yeah. It's a 1957 French Grand Prix. Yeah, and who's he driving for Maserati? That's a 250F, yeah, isn't 250, it? Yeah, 250F. Okay, fine. Let's just move on to this last one. It's Ayrton Senna's first Grand Prix win. Um, just picked out four black and white images, just, just showing sort of the old era. And this is the end of really of black and white being taken for magazines. Um, and it's the first Grand Prix by our now chief photographer, Stephen T, who is the son of Michael. Um, and it's at the centre coming into Park Fermi at the end of the race. Um, as a lot of motor racing fans will remember, or most will, uh, having won it in the wet in absolute masterly performance. And Peter Wall, the team manager, you can just see the joy of victory there um, yeah. as he comes in. That's Lotus, isn't it? It's a Lotus, yeah. And um, I recognise the, uh, the helmet design. Absolutely. Well, it's his first win and, and um, marked him out as, as the champion that he was going to become. Yeah, I think, you know, I'll agree wholeheartedly. They're, they're just moments of, of automotive history, really, yeah. and great to own, you know. So, guys, uh, get out there and get your cameras going if you uh, want to get this good.